Good morning, interwebs. It is 11.40, and I was just sitting here chatting with my daughter, and then we heard this noise outside, and Steve and the boys were out in the garden picking tomatoes. All well and good. We heard the lawnmower, and I figure, oh, he's giving them a lawnmower ride because we have, like, a garden tractor or, like, a, yeah, like a wagony thing that hooks up to the lawnmower, and he will drive them around in it. Then I realized, no, one of them's walking behind because he has two milk crates and we have three empty kitty litter buckets that have been cleaned that we use full of dirt to like pick harvest. Three of those. So five big buckets of tomatoes in the back and they're still oh, about two shelves full in the kitchen and I have two crock pots full. The tomatoes, they just keep a coming. Not complaining, merely noting. There's so many. Well, it is about 10 to 6. And he spent most of our day cleaning and recleaning and recleaning the kitchen. Um, since we had basically gotten to like done with everything we had had ready to can, um, I was able to completely like clean down the counters and start all over. So, and I was able to finally clean my crock pots because. Uh, like the exteriors and stuff because I hadn't had a chance to do that because they have just been running batch after batch of things. So I got to clean my, my five burner gas stove. She got a little bath. She's so nice. And now I'm, I'm heating up some enchilada sauce that I'm making and this is going to go into, I was trying to decide if I want to put it in pint jars or half pint jars. I might go with half pints because I don't have that much of it and a half pint would be enough to make enchilada casserole. I think that's what I'm gonna do. I need to wash the crock pots that had had the, uh, the tomato paste in them. But as you can see, with all the cleaning and recleaning of the kitchen, my sink is now full. Now there are some big things in the bottom, which is what makes this look worse. And we had had things in the dishwasher that needed to get washed, which were removed so that jars could go in there so that we could have clean quart jars because I need to can so many tomatoes. Like, look at the tomatoes. Those are basically all ready to go, and that box is ready to go, and those are waiting to finish ripening. So, I have a lot of tomatoes to can. I'm just gonna dice them and can them that way, which will be fine. But, that meant we had to wash all the quart jars, and there is a second dishwasher full going now. So as soon as those come out, actually a bunch of the dishes that are in the sink go in the dishwasher, because there's almost so many in there, I couldn't even wash them very well by hand. Also, there's a bunch of extra dishes up here, like I need to wash these antique canning jars, which will not be used for canning, but rather for decoration in the house. These belonged to my grandma. And then these are just some assorted like glass, like pretty dishes, because today I finished clearing out these two plastic totes, which have been hanging out over here, that had had stuff from when we did the remodel, and we just like shoved everything that had been on all our decorative shelves in what was our living room? For anybody that doesn't know, our kitchen was our living room until last, like, November. We decided to gut it, turn it into a kitchen, and then gut the kitchen, which hasn't happened yet. But this winter, the kitchen will get fully gutted, and it will turn into a nicer living room. So, I had to unwrap. These are all nutcrackers. Every year for Christmas, my mom gets my sons each a nutcracker. So they have their names on them, and my daughter gets willow angel figurines. She took those up to her room. So she dusted and cleaned off all of these. I think we're going to put a shelf up in their room so that they can have their nutcrackers out. Because oh, we could just put them out seasonally. The kids really like looking at them. So I'm all for like having them out all the time. Also in cleaning out those boxes, I, I got to put some of my cute things back up. And we had for a while had this with like some cute things in it. And then we had had like our phone and stuff on it because at the time, just where our phone dropped in, that was a good thing for it. But now that it's up there, obviously our phone sits on the bookshelf over there. So I was able to put my things up, and so it's nice to look at the gnomes and things. Maybe if I stand back here, you can see them better. So I have gnomes, which I got Steve for his birthday one year, and those are shot glasses from our honeymoon and vacation and where we used to live. And the golf balls are actually the favors for my sister's wedding. I was looking, they're from 1989, <laughs> and I still have three of them. The willow figurines are just things I've amassed over the years. The cat is a present I gave my grandma when I was like six. It was my very first secret. 
we came to visit here and I knew we had brought her the cat for her birthday and I didn't tell her and it was very important to me that I kept the secret. The sleeping gnome was just something that we picked up at the thrift store once and like the heart-shaped rock and things were just things I found around the property. So they're all things that are special to me. But um, yeah, so now they're out. So my plan is to get this going into the canner and then we'll probably dice tomatoes tonight after the kids go to bed. Vlog is currently doing its uploading thing. This morning the computer refused to like open anything and then all of a sudden it decided to work. So I think we've decided, I think we are gonna get a laptop and a new TV for the parlor. And then that way we can, when we want to watch things on a screen together, we can like cast onto the screen. And if I want to edit on screen, I can do that. But also I will have a lot more um, like functionality by having a laptop because I can edit anywhere. When we go on trips, I can take it with me. I can take it to craft shows. So it'll just be a lot of good things for me, I think, and us in general having that option. And then once we get a new computer, we can do some more messing with this one and probably have it as a secondary computer because I think we can probably save it to some degree. But we're kind of at that point where we're gonna have to just reformat it and I can't do that and know that we're not gonna have anything in the interim. So we'll get a secondary option and then, then play with that and then we'll have a second computer hopefully which we could at least use for like word processing maybe. I don't know. So that's that. I'm going to work on my sauce while the kids are playing and then just keep chugging along with our evening. Well, it is 10 to five and my timer's gonna go off any minute here, I'm hoping, because I am ready for bed. I canned tomatoes tonight and I did some crocheting. I finished that gigantic shawl, scarfy thing. Apparently I'm into making things that are indescribable lately. I don't, I don't really know why, but I did that and then I started a blanket because I decided apparently, Kendra, what you want to make is gigantic -y things that are basically blankets but not, so maybe you should try making a blanket. So I am. And so far, so good. I've been watching podcasts and just general youtube -y things and yeah, hanging out with my tomatoes. All my tomatoes. And they're making my finger hurt because it kind of, uh, between the tomato canning and the yarning, I kind of opened up my other thumb and yeah. It is not so fun to get tomato in a semi-cut bit of skin. Just, it's not so great. So, the animals are just, just all sacked out and being adorable. And I see steam coming from my canner, which means I can probably turn it down a bit. And by the time I get over there, perhaps my timer will go off. And then I can go to sleep. I hope that would be lovely. Oh yes, we're at under a minute. I'll just turn the timer off before it wakes anybody up. See? Oh, counter full. So there are seven quarts of tomatoes in there. There's some more tomatoes that are washed, but they will get canned tomorrow. Darn it. I think that I heard the breaker trip. Don't know why. Whatever. And then over here is the rest of the stuff I can today. Here's the, the diced tomatoes. They're still warm from the last batch. So I will not touch them. And then these are all the enchilada sauce. So should make for some yumminess. And look, look at all the nice space I cleared off. See, it almost looks like I'm making headway. Just don't look down, don't look down, look up. See, headway, don't look down. And I will see you all tomorrow. Nighty night.